Welcome back to Hot Pile of Garbage. I'm Jackson Farrell, you're watching us play Undertale, and here's Flowey and the Fight and Mercy commands. He's gonna come back, and he's gonna come after me again if I show him mercy. Uh, I've got no choice but to kill him if I want to get out of this. So we're showing him mercy. This may be a mistake, but... Flowey, I won't give in. You know, maybe someone else will step in and save the day. That's right, Flowey. <laughs> wow. Okay, how about that? And we're back here. The pile of flowers is gone. Hey, it's ostensibly an RPG again. I can't access the menu, but that's not the point. The point is, I can walk around and go to the title screen. Hmm? Credits? Did I beat the game? By accident? <laughs> well! Hooray! Good job, us! We made it through. I don't believe for a second this that this thing is over, but, uh... You know, whatever. Hey, it's the phone! It's our good buddy Sans. I'm here, Sans. Nominally. Yeah, it's been a little while. Okay. And by the way, I did have who the queen is spoiled for me. You can probably figure it out too, but I won't give it away right here. Um, yeah. Disappeared souls. People heartbroken over the king. Good for her. Hmm. Where am I? Oh, hey. It's our old buddy Papyrus. <laughs> he still calls me human. I entered a name at the very beginning, you know. Oh, you know, life goes on without me. I'm nominally the main character, but really I'm just the only character I'm controlling. The only thing that makes the other characters different from me is I'm not controlling them. They're people too, as much as my little avatar there in the game with the sweater and the brown hair and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, we're all just personal beings, feeling and thinking and making choices. Did I make it across the barrier? I guess I did. I mean, the souls disappeared. Am I in the human world now? I didn't expect I'd keep playing after that point. Hey, Flowey. What are you doing here? Well, Flowey, I... I don't know. Hmm. I, uh... Man, 
Flowey, it's not just about pleasure and pain, you know? Hmm? Go see Papyrus, then Undyne. Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows, maybe she's got the key to your happiness. Yeah, that's another thing I spoiled for myself when I was looking up uh, how to get past the Asgore fight. Um, remember when the cup of water evaporated? Because I didn't immediately give it to Undyne, but I went on to the next, uh, the next segment. That was uh, one mistake that I made that prevented me from uh, doing the best thing. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Here we are back at the, back at the title screen, and, uh, I don't know. Apparently I beat the game, but, uh, maybe I'll go back and try to get the best ending. Um, maybe I'll just let it sit there as it is, uh, maybe, who knows? <laughs> I guess I'll wrap this up. Uh, thanks for coming along with me on this little journey through the uh, the Undertale, and uh, I don't know. This this is Jackson Farrell. You've been watching Hot Pile of Garbage, and it's been a fun ride. Uh, we'll see you next episode with whatever we decide to play next, uh, and. In the meantime, everybody, stay classy, because we may be garbage, but we're not trash. Thanks for watching, and see ya. I couldn't leave you with just a seven minute episode, could I? It's been several months, at least, since I beat Undertale in the previous recordings, and I just wanted to take advantage of the time I've had to reflect on Undertale, share some of my thoughts with you guys. We're gonna one-take this sucker. Just whatever comes to mind, I'm gonna spit it out. I do have some notes. A little bit of transparency there for you, but just whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my mouth. That's what we're saying about Undertale. Obviously, I liked it a lot. Fantastic game. It was a breath of fresh air and a lot of fun. Definitely passes the humor test, one of the funniest games I've ever played, and the jokes hold up on repeat viewings. The graphics were generally good. At times they were charming in their simplicity, at times perhaps even elegantly beautiful, at times even charmingly ugly. But on the whole, very good graphics, uh, very fun animations. The sound, the soundtrack was great. A lot of catchy tunes there. I loved the Papyrus theme, Bone Trousel, the Toriel Battle theme, the Greater Dog theme. Just a whole lot of great music. And the fan community, you know, which I've explored in the interim between the, the beating of the game and the whatnot. Yeah, there's a lot of good fan stuff out there. Fan remixes of songs and fan art, fan animations, a lot of really good quality stuff that the other Undertale enthusiasts have turned out. Uh, but let's talk about the actual game, the gameplay. Good video games, and games in general, I'd say challenge you to develop new skills. And I've already mastered traditional console RPG skills, all the little tricks, you know, relying on MP for healing and then sleeping in the end because it's cheaper than using healing items and just maximizing your uh, return on investment of your hit points to, you know, when grinding, getting EXP for the hit points you lose by defeating enemies. And it was refreshing to see an RPG that, in a lot of respects, throws all that stuff out the window. You know, there are reflex-based mechanics in this, much like Super Mario RPG, the, uh, shoot, what was that game? Shadow Hearts, that's the ticket. Uh, but... Undertale. Point is, I love the uh, the little dodging shooter style defenses. I also love the Gradius series. You know, this kind of made me feel like I was playing Gradius 3 again. You have the puzzle-based battles where you're trying to figure things out, figure out, get inside your enemy's head, and discover 
what motivates them and what will motivate them to stop trying to attack you. And the multiple path storyline, it's semi-linear, it's kind of a, you, the, the end destination is pretty much the same with uh, some substantial differences depending on whether you take a true pacifist route or whether you screw it up like I did. But it's a, it's a matter of how you get there versus the, you know, branching path model of, uh, that some other games might employ. I really liked the way that it subverted a lot of RPG conventions. Talked about that a little bit already, but let's talk some more about it. And full disclosure, I've already flubbed the one take goal that I had. Good job, Jackson. But so it goes. Subversion of RPG conventions in Undertale. It's got a lighthearted exterior, but it actually treats death and violence as serious topics. There are consequences for choosing physical conflict and rejecting mercy. It's, uh, it's got a pacifist message, you know, and um, I'll have to replay it to experience more of that, as you can see. I may have spared all the enemies, but... I, you have to really pursue the friendship angle with some characters in order to get the pacifist ending, I understand now. Um, and maybe I'll go back and do that. But it's not a rose-colored view of, oh, let's all be nice and hug it out and everything will be fine if we just learn to get along and understand each other. Because the game is harder if you choose pacifism. You will probably die a lot. Well, maybe not a lot, but you'll die some you'll almost certainly die some, as I did. And this comes about because if you don't level up your attacks, if you don't increase your level of violence through execution points and harden yourself to be more willing to kill, then your attacks are weaker. It becomes a matter of surviving on healing items until you ha figure out how to pacify foes or escape them. You know, figuring out the trick for each boss and each type of enemy. I would... I'd, I, I was going to say that I would like to see a more nuanced take on, on pacifism, but it's already nuanced, you know? There's, there's the fact that it's hard to get through this land of monsters, you know, without taking some knocks on the chin, being stumped, having to come back from the dead, which is not an option that we, uh, or at least not that most of us get in real life. Uh, but I, I would like to see more games explore this sort of, this sort of idea that uh, Undertale has opened up. It made me want to make my own RPG, which I think is one of the marks of a good game. It, uh, I guess I'd like to see a game ask is conflict necessary? And uh, perhaps answer it in a different way than Undertale has. Undertale presents a situation in which conflict isn't necessary. One where you're this little kid wandering through a realm of monsters, and there's this backstory with a sealed gate and everything. But in RPGs you often find yourself as a hero who isn't exactly a soldier, you know, a party of heroes who are not exactly soldiers, but aren't civilians either. They're, you know, adventurers is the title we, we use. And they occupy this weird space between being professional warriors, and let's be honest, professional killers are what professional warriors really are, and, you know, these ordinary people who get caught up in extraordinary things. They're, they're somewhere in between that. And so I'd, I'd like to see a game Explore some of the issues that Undertale does, but without the lighthearted veneer, I guess is what I'm getting at. Uh, take a typical RPG setting and use it to ask some of the questions that Undertale has. Is conflict necessary? What do you do when you're forced to fight, as, as this child has? And, you know, the child can go completely on the defensive and talk their way out of things and use empathy. But, to you know, to ask the question... Can you fight without killing? You know, are there are there ways to get out of a violent situation? You know, without resorting to and what do you do in a situation like that? I'd like to see RPGs with more sophisticated diplomacy options, like you see in Undertale. You know, the the talk commands and whatnot. I'd like to see you know perhaps the opportunity to intimidate a foe into running away that you've 
made a show of force against. And again, let's be honest, that probably means drawn blood, injured, hurt. I remember when I was playing Final Fantasy VII, and I think it was in Junon, the port city with the sister ray, where I was fighting my way through Shinra soldiers and thinking, my gosh, I'm killing these people. I'm straight up the ending their lives. Unless we take the interpretation that zero HP is sort of this near death quasi comatose state where you, you're unable to fight back. Wounded, I think Final Fantasy VI called it. But it's really neat to see an RPG that's taking that idea seriously instead of just treating the enemy soldiers, the monsters in this case, as punching bags for you to gain EXP on. Undertale treats your enemies as actual people. I'd, li I'd like to see that in a more traditional RPG setting kind of thing. You know, at the, at, yeah, let's wrap things up here. And I'll just keep in that stammering for whatever reason. Woohoo, stammering. You, you came here for the stammering, didn't you? <laughs> I could cut that out, but let's be authentic here. And let's wrap things up, because at the end of the day, it's great that this game exists. I could make some criticisms of it, but uh, on a certain level, who cares? It's really rock solid. Well worth the money I paid for it. Um, how much is it running for on Steam right now? I'll pause the recording to check. And return in to you what appears to be absolutely no time at all. It's 10 bucks on Steam. Absolutely 100% worth it. But you've probably bought it already because you're smart and I'm late to the party. I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank my friend that recommended it to me. And I'd like to see, like I said, I'd like to see more games explore the conceptual space that it's opened up. And probably some games have as well. Maybe you can recommend one. Please do so, leave a comment. I know I say leave a comment about the stupidest things in these videos, but this is one about which I'd really like to hear things. Just your game suggestions that, you know, explore pacifism and themes like that. Banner Saga! You know, Banner Saga! Of course, why didn't I think of that? Oh, jeez. Well, yes. Uh, if you can think of any other games besides Banner Saga, leave a comment. If you'd like me to play them, perhaps your suggestion will get me to play it on the channel. That'd be really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching and joining me on this journey, and we'll see you later. Hot pile of garbage, yo. Bye. Do, 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 Ahead on our way, suckers! Final Fantasy V theme, what? <laughs>